Welcome to Patty for Liberty. Today I want to talk about something I've been seeing all over social media. Um, I've seen it being talked about for a while now and at first it was the great resignation and now I've been reading content and blog posts and videos on quiet quitting and how millennials want the soft life. And I think the way that libertarians are responding to some of this says a lot about our disconnect, which is why I want to make this video from a different perspective as a Gen Xer who gets it and who also has a sense of humor. So I don't know how many of you remember the movie Office Space, but it's one of my favorite movies and it's hilarious. And it was funny to talk about quiet quitting and quiet firing when we watched that movie or not having enough flair. But now that the Gen Zers are doing it on TikTok, we're all, we're all upset and think they're just lazy slackers. Um, as someone who is a Gen Xer and we're known as the slacker generation, I have news for you. We did this first and I think we probably did it funnier and better. But uh, you know, I'll give the Gen Zers credit because they're pretty funny kids and I like their TikTok content a lot of the time. So. What I want to speak about is that this phenomenon of quiet quitting and quiet firing isn't a new phenomenon. It's been around a while. We have all quiet quit a job. Um, I don't care who you are. I'm pretty sure that most of us have had a boss that quiet fired us, that made our lives completely miserable until we decided we don't care anymore and we didn't put any energy into our job or they pushed us out making us miserable until we quit. I know I've experienced it, so this isn't something new, and it's some, not something we should just be slamming millennials and Gen Zers for. It's something we've all experienced. It's something that we should be listening to because this isn't something that's just happening in the U.S. This is happening globally. They're having issues with people's um, work, culture, and um, ethics all over the globe, and it is because of the way I think a lot of it is because of the way we've treated millennials. Um, they've gotten the short end of the stick and I happen to know a lot of millennials and most of them are really hard workers. Um, I, I'm still getting to know the Gen Zers, but I've worked with them too and a lot of them are also hard workers. In fact, I remember one of my Gen Z co-workers running the entire shop where I worked while his lazy Gen X and Boomer co-workers sat in the back chatting and smoking cigarettes or outside smoking cigarettes. So Gen Zers and millennials are not lazy or, 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 or slackers. If anything, I think the Gen Xers were probably the more slacker generation. So that's what I wanted to talk about, um, how we're kind of disconnected from the work culture that millennials and Gen Zers are dealing with now that they didn't create and they're just now stuck with. Millennials now have to work in an environment where you have to have a college degree to get a job, even a job that you don't need a college degree for. We didn't have to deal with that. Um, so when we talk about Gen Millennials wasting all their money on college degrees, keep in mind we didn't have to have college degrees for a lot of the jobs we ha had. They do. Secondly, their jobs are easily replaced. I think we saw the great resignation because of COVID and people realizing um, that they didn't have to work like this. They, these people have been replaced by technology, um, outsourced to Pakistan and um, workers on Upwork and Fiverr that will do it a whole lot cheaper. When was the last time you had um, called a customer service number and got an American? Even in the last year or so, some of the companies I've worked with have almost completely removed American workers. Um, so it's not the same culture that a lot of us grew up in, especially not the boomers. Uh, so they have different circumstances and their, and their reasons for complaining are, are legit and we should be listening. Um, the other thing I hear a lot about is that millennials want the soft life, that they want to have the good life, but they don't want to work for it. They just want to be spoiled and why should we have to work so hard? And I think that couldn't be further from the truth. I think a lot of people don't know millennials all that well. Millennials are hardworking, but they're different than us. They think differently. They have different values. What they think about wealth and wealth building is completely different than our generation and the generation before. Um, where 
all of us um, kind of thought of wealth building as getting a home and building your nest egg. Um, millennials think about things differently. They do not value money and wealth in the same way we do. They do not think of money in the same way we do. They want a better life, a better experiences, better job satisfaction. That's more important to them than building wealth. And I don't think that boomers and Gen Xers always get that. It's not that they don't want to invest and they don't want to have money. It's that they are not um, seeking to be wealthy. They are seeking to have the same security and freedom we were after, but not through collecting things and money. They want to have a better life. They want to have a better planet. They want to have a job and a purpose and um a meaningful life. And I think those are character traits to admire. Um, I've heard some people say that they um, they aren't making as investments and different things, but they are. They're investing in different things, though. They are investing in crypto and um, investing to try to retire early versus just trying to have a home that they can pass on um, or have a fancy house and a car. They are investing in different things and they value different things. Um, and one of them is having purpose and meaning in their life. And I think that's great. Another thing that I've heard millennials complain about and that I agree with is um, they talk about why they're frustrated is because we left them this mess. We are the ones who've been spending and spending and spending. Um, and not doing anything to make progress on improving our or bettering our planet, leaving our environment better than we than it was before, leaving our children a better world, um, leaving our children with more opportunities. No, we haven't done very well at at all. We are the ones who have spent their their um, future on our lifestyle, and that's what they're complaining about. That. You're calling us spoiled and entitled while you meanwhile spent and spent and spent money irresponsibly, irresponsibly, and then you're blaming us for it. And I think that's a very valid um, argument and something we should be understanding that we left them a world that wasn't better than the one before. And they actually care about issues like improving our environment and, and not just destroying our planet to make money. They care about not being reliant on foreign oils and starting to move in that direction of green energy. Um, they care about issues that we just blew off as insignificant and they're paying the price for our um, spending and poor planning and us creating a workforce where you have to have a college degree and a lot of the things we've done they're dealing with. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. I've said in several of these videos, I do much better at written content than videos, but I'm really, really working on that. And I'm trying to engage with younger voters, millennials and Gen Zs as a libertarian Gen Xer who's not completely disconnected from reality. You definitely have obstacles we didn't have. But we need your help to fix this. Um, I have been hearing for a long time from millennial friends that they are all frustrated with our political culture and the culture wars and our ineffective two-party system that keeps bringing us more and more terrible candidates. Well, I want you millennials engaged and Gen Zers especially engaged in this. I want to get you involved in the Libertarian Party or in politics in general. I have a Facebook group that I'm going to leave in the description that I hope you will join. It's called Patty's American Integrity and Liberty Group because my focus for my group is to be welcoming to people from all walks of life, all political views, all political parties. Um, it is a libertarian group, but everybody is welcome. I want you to learn more about libertarianism and um, not all of us are, um, conservative or Republican leaning. We are um, a diverse group of people and I want to create a welcoming atmosphere for everybody. So if you are a millennial or Gen Z or and you're interested in getting engaged in the party or in just learning about running for office or libertarian perspectives on things, please join my Facebook group. Um, like I said, I'll leave it in the description. I also have a blog post on my website, Patty for Liberty. 
on this topic that will be in the description. So if you could check that out, that'd be awesome. And I would really appreciate if you got something out of this to click the like button and help me reach more people with a libertarian message like mine. We want people in our party that are helping us move the needle and so that we can see liberty in our lifetime. I'm okay with you not fully understanding libertarianism. It's my job to explain it to you. So I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to create interesting content that's not the same as what's already out there and bring more diversity into the Libertarian Party and to my group. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll have another video hopefully soon.